When I say running shoes, what pops up in your head? Nike, of course. Do you know Nike occupies that neuron in your brain that associates running shoes with this particular brand? Hi, this is Neeti Keswani, your host for Luxury Unplugged podcast. And today we are taking you through the startup story of Nike. Do you love to run? Or are you looking to start running as a way to get in shape? If so, then you need a good pair of running shoes. And it, when, when it comes to running shoes, Nike is one of the best brands out there. Now, this podcast is not particularly sponsored by Nike, but we want to indulge Nike because we just love the brand so much. So we will take a look at some of the best Nike running shoes for both men and women. Whether you are a seasoned runner or just starting out, you'll be sure to find the perfect pair of kicks for your needs. Let's get started. Why is Nike the best running shoe brand? Well, it's a top sh- running shoe brand for a good reason. Nike produces shoes that provide superior cushioning and comfort within Nike Air Max or Nike React technologies, both of which have been tested extensively by professional athletes. Now, Nike shoes are also designed to be lightweight and breathable, making them ideal for long-distance runs. Their superior traction gives you added grip when you need it most, giving you total confidence in your footing on every run. Nike shoes also tend to have a sleek, modern design that is fashionable and represents the unique style of each individual runner. Finally, Nike offers a wide selection of sizes, colors and styles to match any runner's personal tastes or preferences. All of these factors make Nike the best running shoe performance. Make the best running shoe brands on the market today. So whether you prefer minimalist looks or you are looking for a high-end cushioned performance, Nike has the options to fit your needs. With Nike's commitment to quality, engineering and long-lasting materials, it is your go-to source for running shoes that will keep you comfortable while delivering championship levels of performance. Now before we get into the different types of Nike running shoes available in the market, why don't we just get into how it all got started? You see, Nike was founded in 1964 by Bill Bowman and Phil Knight. The company started off as Blue Ribbon Sports, a distributor of Japanese shoes imported to the United States. And they opened its first retail store in Santa Monica, California. With a vision to create better athletes through innovation and design, they began manufacturing their own shoes under the Nike brand. So the 24-year-old Phil Knight, a Stanford graduate, journeyed to Kobe, Japan in 1962, where it all started. After finding Onitsuka Tiger sneakers, Knight made a deal with the founder, Mr. Onitsuka, to sell his sports shoes in America. A year and a half later, after the trainers arrived in America, Knight sent two pairs of his former track and field coach Bill Bowman. The young entrepreneur hoped that Bowman could help him sell a few pairs of low-cost shoes. To his delight, not only did Bowman want support his venture, wanted to support his venture, but he also wanted to become business partners with him. And so Blue, Blue Ribbon Sports was created on January 25, 1964. Over the years at the University of Oregon, Bowman created custom running shoes for his athletes, adjusting them for things like cushioning, energy return, and breathability. It wasn't long before he started to experiment with pre-existing Onitsuka Tiger training shoes, piecing them together with new outsoles, midsoles, two boxes, toe boxes and lacing systems to create innovative designs. Eventually, Bowman invented a prototype that was better than any of the Japanese label's offerings. After much deliberation, Bowman gave his creation the name of Cortez. The Cortez shoe was a massive success for Onitsuka Tiger and Blue Ribbon Sports. Becoming a bestseller two years after its production began in 1966. 
Its sleek design captivated athletes and everyday wearers like a testament to Bowman's talent for creating fashionable shoes that were also comfortable. However, as the business continued to grow and expand, tensions between partners began to arise. And after several arguments, Blue Ribbon Sports and Onitsuka Tiger ended their relationship in 1971. Afterward, Bowman, Knight and others did what most new singles do, they rebranded. The Nike name was inspired by a dream of one of the new employees in which he saw the Greek goddess of victory. Carolyn Davidson from Portland State University designed the Nike logo for only $35 but received 500 shares of Nike stock later on. And after Blue Ribbon Sports was outfitted with the proper resources to change their appearance, they became Nike Inc. You can read about how it all unfolded in Phil Knight's novel Shoe Dog. So this is the history of Nike shoes. Now let's dig into the different types of Nike running shoes available in the market. There is Nike Pegasus Turbo, Vaporfly, there is Air Zoom, there is Air Max, Dunks and all the different varieties. So for instance, Nike Air Max started in, uh, was released in 1995 and uh, mostly the colorway was neon. And uh, it was worn by Jay-Z, Eminem and uh, LeBron James, Eric Dane. So the Air Max 95 known locally as the Air Max 110, a name that references its initial pound sterling price point, is a brainchild of trainer designer Sergio Lozano. On the other hand, if you need a reliable everyday trainer that can handle short sprints and light jogs, then you could go in for Nike Free Run. Free RN 5.0 or Tangent. So with an arch contour construction and strategically placed traction pads on the outsole, these two models provide great grip on surfaces like concrete and pavement to give runners a natural feel during their workouts. No matter what your needs are or what your running experience is, you'll surely find something among Nike's diverse range of running shoes that will help take your performance to new heights. For example, Nike Dunk SB Low. Now, this was released in 2002. Nevertheless, one of the best ways to develop a skateboarding look is by wearing some fat tongued SB Dunk clothes with baggy trousers and a T, perhaps topping it up. Then there is this Nike Dunk High. Now, this was released in 1985 and it was worn by Andre 3000, Jake Gallenhall, Virgil Abloh, and Devin Booker. More of a high top man, allow us to acquaint you with SB Dunk Low's older, taller cousin, the Nike Dunk High. Now, the 1985 silhouette was designed to allow young basketball players to flex their college colors on court, which explains why the most coveted pairs of high top dunks take the name of American universities, example Syracuse, Michigan and Kentucky. Now let's talk about the most recent uh, Nike uh, shoe that just got released in 2020 and that is Sakai X Nike Vapor Waffle. It has been worn by Ben Simmons, Arjun Kapoor, Zendaya, Killian Mbappe. Psyche X Nike possesses a sincerity that sets it apart from other sneaker collaborations. It's a true fusion of ideas. Take for example the collaborative Vapor, vapor Waffle silhouette an amalgamation of the Nike Pegasus and Nike Vaporfly that embodies Nike's forward-thinking attitude and Sakai's experimental approach to design. So now you see with the varied options in Nike, there are so many benefits that we can, you know, look into while buying our favorite pairs. The popular cho choice is Nike usually because they are usually comfortable footwear and uh, they provide superior cushioning, support to the feet during exercise and they also boast a wide range of other benefits like being lightweight, breathable, allowing air to circulate around the foot, keeping it cool even, those during, even during intense workouts. They have good shock absorption technology, making them an ideal choice for those who need extra protection. Their non-slip rubber outsoles also ensure that, you know, they have firm grounded exercise regardless of the surface that you may be on. 
So how could you possibly choose the right Nike running shoes for you? It is not a difficult process with so many options like available from Nike. It can be hard to know where to start. So here are some tips for helping you find out the perfect pair of shoes to your next run. Consider the type of surface that you'll be running on. Different shoes offer different levels of cushioning and stability depend on whether you're running on a road or a trail. How to take care for your Nike running shoes? Now as a runner, it's important to take the proper measures to care for your running shoes, especially if you are looking for endurance. To ensure that your Nike running shoes retain its superior cushioning, you need to take definitely a special care of it. First, essen essentially, clean up your shoes after every practice or race. Start with mild soap and water and use a separate toothbrush to gently scrub away any debris or dirt from soles of the shoe. Next, apply a thin layer of leather conditioner or wax to premier leather Nike running shoes in order to help protect them from rain or moisture. It's also important to rotate between two pairs of running shoes so that no one can have time to dry out completely before being worn again. Finally, when not in use, store your Nike running shoes in a dark closet space as direct sunlight can cause them to dry out prematurely and compromise their fit over time. So taking these basic steps will give you a long way towards keeping your Nike running shoe lasting longer while helping you stay on top of your next personal best. Now as we come to the conclusion of this particular podcast, we understand that Nike shoes are some of the best in the business and they've been designed with runners in mind and they provide a wealth of benefits for wearers. So if you're looking for a new pair of running shoes or you just want to learn about Nike running shoes, be sure to check out the links below. Thanks for tuning in.